Believe in yourself. That man is going for a run in jeans, 32 degrees out today. Yeah. Yeah. I would say that's a dead man walking. What he really is, it's a dead man running. <laughs> So I'll be completely honest, I already filmed this video. I filmed the beginning of this video the day I started twice, and I refuse to touch any of that footage. They're both like almost 40 minutes long of me sitting, being like, um, so, uh, so I'm gonna do this, uh, thing, uh, because I was so exhausted. So I just thought, you know what? Let me, um, let's, let's just do it now. If you don't know who Haruki Murakami is, he's a Japanese author who specializes in like fictional surrealism. His portrayal of women is like horrible. I, 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 I feel like I just put that out there <laughs> right away. He's like the author that's like, she boobed down Boob Street with her big boobs to boob store to pick up some boobs as her boobs to boob to boobily. So, yeah, that sucks, but he is one of my favorite authors. Or maybe I shouldn't say one of my favorites since I haven't read like a huge amount of his work. I started out with Norwegian Wood, which is like his most popular book. Didn't like it. But then a few months later, I read A Wild Sheep Chase and then I read Kafka on the Shore. But recently I read his memoir, What I Talk About When I Talk About Running. And when I say recently, I mean like four months ago. <laughs> and when I say read, I mean listen because I listened to it on audiobook because I had like a free audible subscription i'm not paying 16 dollars for that shit that's insane although if you want me to do like a sponsorship i'll if if I'll, I'll do it but the book was included with the subscription randomly i was like i'll listen to this and i ended up really enjoying it he runs a lot the whole entire book is pretty much about running i'd say if you don't run or if you're like not interested in running don't read it but you should definitely continue watching this video <laughs> i myself i i run when i started his memoir he had the type of attitude towards running that i really related to which is like if it doesn't come naturally to run long distances just don't i really don't have any goals for my running i just kind of do it when i want to do it when i feel like doing it although this leads me to running way too much i'll probably run like three days a week but i end up running like 12 to 14 kilometers, which for some maybe isn't a lot, but for me that is a lot and I don't need to be doing that. And what that leads to is burnout. And it's something in my life that <laughs> I just, I, I, I never know when to stop. Like I'm sure you can tell with the way I edit my videos, I don't need to be doing all that. I have a problem with moderation. What I really wanted to learn by following his routine is exactly that, moderation, because in his memoir at least, what I got was that he's a man who sticks to a strict schedule and doesn't overdo anything and doesn't underdo anything, which I don't have. I can't think of anything that I'm like, I feel like I, I do that a good amount. It's either way too much or not enough. Like sleep, I've struggled with sleep for like pretty pretty much my entire life. And Murakami really sticks to a strict sleeping schedule, which is 9 p.m. he goes to bed and he wakes up at 4 a.m. Now, I want to read you a little blurb that he said in an article in 2008 about his routine. He says, when I'm in writing mode for a novel, I get up at 4 a.m. and work for five to six hours. In the afternoon, I run for 10 kilometers or swim for 1500 meters. I almost said miles. <laughs> That's insane. Then I read a bit and listen to some music. I go to bed at 9 p.m. I keep this routine every day without variation. The repetition itself becomes the important thing. It's a form of mesmerism. I mesmerize myself to reach a deeper state of mind, but to hold to such repetition for so long requires a good amount of mental and physical strength. In that sense, writing a long novel is like survival training. Physical strength is as necessary as artistic sensitivity. Um, to me, even after doing 
not, not to spoilers, even after doing this routine for a week, I don't know, like maybe this is crazy to say, but it really doesn't sound at all like survival training. I really don't understand that. Like, I don't think anyone in like the military is carving out like seven to eight hours in their day to read and listen to music. The one liberty that I'm gonna take within this routine, I'm not a writer. I think writing is something that comes very naturally to someone. I've definitely like written in the past, but like I'm, I'm not, I'm not writing like a 600 page book the way that when he's in this routine he that's exactly what he's doing so instead i'm just gonna edit in the morning and you know many would say that my videos are very similar to the work of mr murakami in quality and imagination creativity innovation and yeah i suppose let's just jump into my first day following haruki murakami's strict uh, sli very slightly ridiculous routine. I made this tea last night and I forgot to drink it and it's lemon ginger. So it's probably strong as fucking shit. I'm gonna do the overnight lemon ginger tea taste test in the morning challenge. Hmm. I think I lost my hearing. Farmer's Market Hall. First, I got some iced coffee. I usually get a vegetable panini, but they didn't have one, so I got a Cajun chicken panini. It looks pretty good. <laughs> they had my favorite blueberry bagels in the world there, but they didn't have any. <laughs> so I got the cinnamon raisin loaf. I don't know. $7 raspberries and... Um, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I got, oh God, a red velvet cake. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm so bad. And that's everything. Can you see me? Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I have had the worst morning ever. Last night I tried to go to sleep at nine, but then I, I my circadian rhythm and my body, it's like jet lag. Like my, my body's just not used to it. I even took a melatonin that didn't work. I considered doing other drugs to go to sleep, but I was just like, I don't 
I don't want to do that right now. So I was up pretty late, just tossing and turning, thinking wild thoughts. But today so far, I've really done nothing. Like I haven't edited at all. I have a meeting on Zoom in like 30 minutes. And then right after that, I'm going to go for my run. I'm really excited to go for my run though, because it's really nice out today. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I almost stomped the shit out of the snake. Hey, buddy. Hello. What's your name? Yeah, I almost killed it though. I think I'm lost. I'm back from my third run, which means I'm half, wait, yeah, I'm halfway there. Not the challenge because I, I, he takes a break once a week from running, but I'm going to try not to because in his own life, he runs six days consecutively. And since I'm only doing it for a week, I want to try to run six days consecutively plus this weekend, today's Tuesday, this weekend is supposed to get up to 35 degrees Celsius. <laughs> and I don't want to run in that. Uh, so I'd rather take my break then. Although I do have to take a break because today's run was pretty rough. Then I will. But I, um, I did, I, I fucked up and I don't want it to seem like I'm lying. I promise you, I promise on my mother's grave. She's not dead, but if she was, I did run 10 kilometers, but when I recorded that little cute snake, I paused my run keeper app and I didn't realize it. And I was like halfway through the run. So I swear to God, th this is my stats here. Just like double it, okay? I promise I wouldn't be sitting here lying. But yeah, I'm still reading Crime and Punishment. Obviously, I haven't really been reading at all. I think I included a clip on the first day of me reading in bed. Okay, I said I wasn't gonna lie. <laughs> that wasn't really a lie. I did sit down in bed and record that clip and I read two paragraphs. <laughs> I'm really liking it so far. If you don't know what it's about, it's like a Russian classic about a man who senselessly does a little bit of murdering. And um, it just kind of is dealing with like his inner turmoil and guilt. He's like having a mental breakdown, but it's also like a really charming and quite fun murder mystery kind of, but yeah. Talk to you probably tomorrow, bright and early. This is me thinking I ate, <laughs> opening my blinds, thinking you would be able to see anything, but I fail to remember that it's 4am and all you can see is this flashing light. My legs don't hurt at all, but I know when I start running, I just feel it immediately, especially my hip. I think my family's got like pretty bad hips. That might be a lie. I'm exactly halfway through and my calves are like... Exploding. Look at it. I'm gonna finish strong. And then I'm gonna go home. And then I'm gonna think about what I've done. Can you see me?
1.41 a.m. Fifth, fifth run complete. Feeling pretty good. You know, sometimes when your legs are just kind of feeling a little bit uh, sore, you just gotta give out on them. So it's currently day six. I'm feeling great. My run today went fine. It was kind of the opposite of my last run. It was like really fucking challenging in the beginning, like the first half. I guess today was manure day. It So they were spraying shit into the air and literally it smelled so bad. But luckily I just ran past that through the mass horde of flies. And then they kept on hitting my face and all I could think was, damn, they are going on that shit, eating it. And now they're coming and landing on my face and putting that shit on my face. So basically I'm living the dream, but then the last half went really well. Yesterday I didn't really record anything. I just did all the same shit except for run. I got a lot of reading done. I think yesterday I read like 70 pages of this. I'm on page 355 and I got a lot of editing done. This morning I got a ton of editing done. It's still like not my ideal time for anything. I'm very excited that tomorrow is my last day. I'm planning on having a very successful day tomorrow. It's going to be the full Murakami experience. How I look. So it's my last run. It's hot as fuck, but you know, it, it, in his memoir, he writes about this experience he had in Greece where he ran a marathon all by himself and it was like 45 degrees. So I'm just gonna channel that. Yeah, so I'm thrilled that this is my last day. Why the fuck does he run in the middle of the day? Like, does he know that there's morning? Does he know that there's night? time. way back I stopped at a bakery and decided to get a sweet treat to treat myself to running 60 kilometers this week. And we're not gonna talk about that last run too much. Uh, yeah. All that matters is that it's over. Yeah, I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day chilling. I'm gonna try to get to part six in Crime and Punishment. Still loving it. I really want to edit because I need to post my video tomorrow, but I'm gonna have to force myself to just chill. And then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna have to wake up early as shit again to finish it and post it, which kind of sucks, but I, wa I wanna follow this challenge for an entire week. So I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day reading, but yeah, I don't know. Time, time. Shut the hell up, bitch. <laughs> Still got it. So I just want to quickly conclude this video and um, I guess review my week. How was my week living in the shoes of Haruki Murakami? It was fine. Video's over. Bye. <laughs>
Routine is good. Having a routine, it feels good waking up and not having that feeling of uncertainty for uh, my day. But at the same time, it does not need to be that fucking strict. I think that if I continued with this routine, I definitely could follow it much easier. I think I, the hardest part was honestly going to bed at night. I mean, what I just experienced was jet lag. Like I'm used to going to bed super late and waking up relative, like I'm not waking up at noon, but like I usually wake up around nine. So waking up at four, that honestly wasn't the hard part because I, I feel like I am used to being sleep deprived. What was real tough was after waking up and trying to be productive like as soon as possible. I'm not gonna lie, I did not start doing anything until after 6.30 a.m. every day. Waking up that early, especially in the first couple of days since I wasn't falling asleep until like at least midnight was challenging to find any motivation within me. I think the last four nights, there was no way that I was gonna fall asleep at a reasonable time without getting like ridiculously high the night before. I literally four nights in a row needed the assistance to fall asleep. And I think the moderation thing, I was so right. From this, I learned moderation is like key. Like for sleep, I learned that I only need like seven to eight hours instead of staying awake for like 24 hours and then sleeping for like 10 running as well my feet have never looked better i don't have any purple blisters i uh, i always when i'm running get purple blisters that are like bloody all over my toes and it, i don't have any i also um didn't pee blood once Yes, it's happened several times when I've ran too hard because I just got way too into it. I did come home and um, I peed a little bit of blood. And I know what you're thinking. You used to go, go to the doctor, that's not normal, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't want to do that. So from here on out, I would like to spread out my running. First of all, I will not be running in the middle of the day. I cannot believe, like, that's insane. Why does he do that? I think that's just a product of his routine and how like strict he is with it. That's like all year long he has to run in the middle of the day no matter how hot it is. But I would like to have a better, more strict routine for my running. I'm thinking like three to four days a week, 10K. I don't know. I definitely don't need to do it six days a week. That's fucking crazy. My motivation, however, lacking, it lacked lacked severely but i mean i was literally like retraining my brain and i feel like i'm still not there like as i said if i continue doing this routine i could follow it i don't want to because it, it's kind of shitty i don't want to wake up at 4 a.m and i don't want to do a 10k at noon i also do not want to go to bed at nine but yeah in the morning i I could, like, no motivation. And then when I was supposed to be reading and listening to music, I loved what I was reading, but I had no motivation. <laughs> the first few days I found myself around like five, becoming like really depressed. Overall, this was a good experience. I'm glad I did it. I definitely want to implement more structure and routine into my life from here on out, but no promises. No. I think with me is I tend to have like depressive episodes. <laughs> so what I've done pretty much my whole life is when I do feel motivation to not only live, but like actually get things done, I grab onto it as tight as possible and I just ride that fucking wave until I hit a wall. But I would like to start taking things in moderation more. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one if I survive. Mm-hmm.